and controlled by the federal government. They are used to keep goods imported by government until the time they are distributed to different states or places needed. We have ordinary warehouse. It can be subdivided into two. We have factory warehouse and wholesaler warehouse. Factory warehouse is owned and controlled by non-trading organization like manufacturers. While wholesaler warehouse is owned and controlled by a wholesaler for storage of wares. Review questions. What is warehousing? Outline the functions of warehousing. Warehousing is a very large store built by manufacturers and large wholesalers for the purpose of storing goods until they are bought. Functions. It properly stores goods until the time they are demanded. It provides avenue for certain goods like tea to be properly processed. Also, to prevent the goods from being tampered with or stolen, it stores bonded goods until their custom duties are fully paid. It ensures steady or systematic supply of goods to the market. Another question, I like the importance of warehousing. One, it provides storage facility. Two, it stabilizes prices of goods. Three, it preserves goods. Four, it safeguards goods. Five, it encourages mass production. And it also facilitates production process. Tourism. Tourism is a travel for pressure. Forms of tourism. We have natural tourism, where we have eco-tourism, soft adventure, special interest, etc. We also have cultural tourism and we have educational tourism. Natural tourism. We have eco-tourism. Eco-tourism is ecologically sustainable tourism with a primary focus on experiencing natural areas. Why soft adventure under natural tourism requires a moderate level of physical involvement by participants like bicycling, hiking, etc. Special interest that's wildlife tourism involves observation, photography, and interaction. Cultural tourism this involves Traveling directed towards experiencing the arts, heritage, and special character of unique places. Tourism. Edu tourism with the primary purpose of engaging in a learning experience. Advantages of tourism. It brings in money. It provides jobs for the locals. It raises the profile of the place generally. It can provide incentives for investment in infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, etc. It can provide economic incentives for a place to preserve, regenerate, and provide upkeep in the urban and wildlife areas. Visitors promote international links. Disadvantages of tourism Tourists can often lack respect for local traditions. Tourism can often cause environmental damage with things like pollution. Tourism jobs are quite commonly seasonal and insecure with no extra benefits like pension and so on. The commercialization of culture can undermine the soul of a tourist destination. Oftentimes, most of the tourist industry in a developing country is actually owned by big foreign companies. Tourist centers. Tourist centers in Nigeria include Yankari National Park, Obudu Katu Ranch, Guraya Waterfalls, ETC. Review questions. State three advantages and two disadvantages of tourism. Advantages. It provides job for the locals, it raises the profile of the place generally. It can provide incentives for investment in infrastructure, such as roads, etc. Disadvantages. Tourism can often cause environmental damage with things like pollution, 
Tourism jobs are quite commonly seasonal and insecure with no extra benefits like pension. Mention forms of tourism. Briefly explain any two of them. We have natural tourism, cultural tourism, educational tourism. Cultural tourism. Travel directed towards experiencing the arts, heritage, and special character of unique places. Educational tourism. Edutourism with the primary purpose of engaging in a learning experience. On this note, we end the SS2 commerce topics. Thank you.